We partnered with a company, Menorini Silicone Biosystems. Uh, it's a company headquarters is in Bologna, Italy. Uh, we started to discuss the uh, possibility of using an instrument called the Depa-Ray for use in forensic settings. The machine is a useful tool in terms of separating uh, groups of sperm cells in survivors of gang rape violence and to be able to isolate single sperm cells to then do downstream applications of DNA isolation to then be able to prosecute perpetrators of this kind of violence. Now the original purpose of this instrument was in cancer research. What we are using this for primarily is to develop new ways to enhance the resolution of, of evidence processing in sexual assault cases. So if you have cases where there's a very limited amount of biological evidence, which definitely happens, uh, this instrument could be the difference between a suspect or a perpetrator being identified or not. If you're interested in doing forensics, I mean, certainly as um, for having, getting better quality samples for sperm um, with the sexual assault cases, um, that will be a great learning experience for those of us who are forensics majors. I feel that survivors are getting more and more of a chance at justice, and I think this is one useful tool to help tilt justice in their direction. We're in a very unique uh, position where we can actually drive the field. It shows that this department is serious about the work that it does, and I think it shows that this department is planning to change the world and change forensics as we know it, and I think this machine is definitely going to help orchestrate that.